Good morning. Welcome to Table Talk. I'm happy to have you with us. I'm Sandy and with me is Shannon. So we are happy to be here this morning. And what have you got in your hand there, sister? <laughs> oh, yes. Kathy's, Kathy's trying, trying to stay out of the camera. Out of the but... camera. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so we did have um, some comments on okay. our last one. I thought this one was cute. Um, somebody told us that his her dad has claimed that he was 27 and she says now i'm way past 27 and i have a child close to 27 but that's how old my dad is he's not 27 <laughs> which like made it. me laugh you know jay my mother-in-law jason's mom is 96 and when she hit i think it was about 80 maybe 75 she started counting backwards oh i like that yeah so oh, yeah she's Go backwards that's, that's the way you do it yeah so i thought that was cute and then we did have somebody um ask if we've done a tour of our store and we have, it's been a while it's ago, a while. and it, I mean, it changes. So, I mean, even yeah. if you go back and find the video where we did a tour of the store. It's all different. No. It would not look the same. No. <laughs> well, but did you that again? we'll have to try that again. So, yeah. Anyway, I thought that was kind of fun. So, yeah. so what have you been doing? I haven't seen you for a week. It's been. It's witches. And so it's all. It's been crazy. Yeah. And I took a trip to New Mexico. That's right. To find Hurricane mm -hmm. Apartment. Mm -hmm. Yep. No, Sandy is out. Erica's go-to person all the time if they need references. Oh, yeah. I'm, I got this. <laughs> I said, she said, I'm going to put Sandy down. I said, do you want me to text her? She's like, no, Sandy told me I could use her as much as her, I needed to. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So, so she, and she did get a housing. and <clears throat> But she did want me to ask anybody in New Mexico if you know Stitch stores. Oh, yeah. <laughs> around the Albuquerque, Santa Fe area. That's please right. respond and let us know. Yeah, let us know so we can... Direct so Erica. Poor Erica, she's worried about not having her stitch shop close. Yeah. Well, she'll be watching our table talk. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to say, Kathy could, uh, <clears throat> you know, yeah. see an order come through yeah. for Erica. <laughs> yep, that's true. <laughs> but you're No, she can just text there. her mama. But Yeah. So sure this weekend, so. what I do, oh, I got to. Did you get work witches? I didn't this weekend. I did last weekend. Mm -hmm. um, I worked Saturday, but. The morning. Oh, before yeah, I, all I left it too. I think it was. So I left before it started, but it was still busy even in the morning, you know. But but it wasn't the whole witch hoopla. Yeah. We know. Eric and I came to do some shopping on Saturday. Oh, did you? Mm -hmm. We were here until right before witches started, but mm -hmm. it was chaos yeah. in the yeah. village. Yes, yeah, chaos. Busy. Wow. Um, but I took my grandson to the park. Yeah, oh, it was perfect played. weather for weather yeah. for that. Yeah. And then I got to babysit him on Friday night. And so that's always good. It is My husband's good. off hunting. Oh, it so, is hunting season. Yeah, it's hunting season and I think he finishes up this week. Um he comes back Wednesday, I think. But so I've been just kind of free enjoying your just doing time. my thing. Hanging out with my mom and eating what I want and <laughs> those are the best yeah those are the best I have to be healthy <laughs> yeah well you know when Erica and I went to New Mexico we Erica's like I don't want to eat out every meal so we yeah. kind of packed lunch meat and stuff and we just would kind of stop at a gas mm -hmm. station and open the back of the car and make a sandwich yep eat it took Nova with us she is such a good traveler she yeah. just this goes. She's good. So just no the went. Yeah, time. we did not take the puppy because yeah. we didn't know how long we'd be gone. Or My know. watch is talking it, to me. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't ask you what time it was. <laughs> so anyway, yeah, she's she's good. We stayed at one hotel that had a window that you know went all the way almost to the floor. Mm -hmm. About three in the morning, Nova was pushed the curtain oh, back yeah. so she could sit and sit, watch look out. outside. Like, now is not the time for that. Yeah. Go back to bed. Go back to sleep, Nova. <laughs> But I did get a little bit of stitching done. And I said, it looks like you've been busy. So <laughs> I finished my... That's cute. This is the one I was working on, on the cruise, but my sister said it was like nails on a chalkboard to her. Which I didn't... Oh, know. trying to go through the wood? Yeah. Which I didn't, you know. So I was like, well, I had other stitching to do, so I can do something that's not annoying. Um, but I finished this one, thankful. And then the night I finished this one, I'm like, okay, well, that went together pretty quick. So I did the Merry Christmas ornament. That's darling. And so again, these, and I have ordered a bunch more of this thankful. Yeah, that one's okay. been popular. But, and I've got this Merry Christmas ornament. We've got a, quite a few of those in stock. But the nice thing, again, they come with 
the wood, they come with a wooden yeah. um, floss bobbin. Uh -huh. And they Let's come with the little thing that goes on the back that makes them nice and finished. So it looks like, do you have like some French knots uh -huh. in here? There's and then lazy daisies? Lazy daisies, French oh. knots, um, stem stitch, or just you can just do a back stitch if you want. But um, yeah, I would. The, to me, this looks like it would come together pretty fast. It did. Yeah, and I well, and I have all girls, but this would be like a fun waiting for Thanksgiving dinner. Oh yeah, that would be a you fun Thanksgiving. Everybody project. could sit yeah. and stitch one of these. Yep. It's adorable. And the little ornament. I think this is really pretty. Oh, I do too. So it's really cute. And this one went together really fast. Very cute. So look at you. I actually finished those couple of things. Yeah. Oh, and then we do have the Utah one in also. That's the... So is it, do we just have those three right now? Just these three right now. Yep. Okay. That's all. Those are the three styles we have right now. Really so. cute. Um, we'll be doing a giveaway. Oh, and, and again, I showed this before, but this one comes with... The stand. The stand and everything for it. I'm like, that is so cool. And I, I it is a bigger one, uh -huh. but I still think it would fit, be cute in the big bowl. Yeah. Yeah, because and you, your stand could even yeah stand in the bowl can help help so, yeah, yeah hold it really um, cute. So we'll be doing a giveaway today. So do we should we tell who oh, the yeah. last giveaway this, was? Our winner was our winner was I've got a finder. I had to look because I, I thought that said Kathy Faust, but it did not say Kathy Faust. <laughs> okay, well, you Patty. talk for a minute while I look. <laughs> so today we're going to be giving... Oh, here it is. She is. Oh, you got it. Patty Rifkin, 2920. There you go, Patty. Congratulations. Yes. So she will reach out to a little... Um, Scissor fobs. Light Hotter zipper pull. The zipper pull. Yes. Yeah, from Light Hotter. Oh, so, scissors are yeah. fobs. No yeah. zipper pull. Yes. You could use it as a zipper pull. Today we're giving away one of Lori's um, quilt block seeds packet. And we've shown this before that Kathy finished, but this is one of her seed packets. And I just saw on Riley Blake on their under their free patterns, they show um, a finishing oh. pattern for these. Oh, nice! So the pattern for what to do with these blocks. And is that free? Uh -huh. oh. Yeah, it's on their free free pattern. Free pattern. So you yeah. probably set that. It's a so, Monday. It's Monday. I'm driving in and Jason texts me and he's like, I forgot my water bottle. I forgot my swig mug. I <laughs> forgot. There were a couple other things he forgot. And he says, and then we all got into work today and they changed the Wi-Fi password and a tech person has to come out and help us. So I'm oh. like, yeah, <laughs> who knows? Anyway, so it's a Monday. Yeah. So Saturday, we hung up this new quilt that Anna did. So... We had this is from Queen of Ween. It's really cute. And Anna's cute little back. She always yeah, has something she always fun on the back. Her back. And Anna designed this to go with these little Queen of Ween panel blocks. Mm -hmm. And so we have kits for this. Now, this kit is limited. We started with 12 because that's how many panels we had. And on Saturday, we sold six of them. Mm. So Sandy's only showing this today because it's Monday. Because it's Monday and we air tomorrow. So she figures that we're good. there should be a couple left. Yeah. So another one not so, to sit on if you're interested. Yeah. But that, I was, you know, that was fun. She it's really whipped cute. this together good and quick and quilted it. And super cute. And it's nice because Anna does have her own quilting machine. Yes. Yes, so she can quilt. Does that have like little, um, it kind of looks yeah, like. Yeah, it's like got little clubs. Clubs and, and diamonds. And, you yeah, know, it looks like cards. Which matches. Which is cute. The fabric. Yeah, really cute. Shall I we? pulled this. Oh, yes. Because I said to Kathy, I'm like, oh, this is kind of cute. And she uh -huh. said, and it was, we didn't pull it down. So, Erica, right. I'm sorry, you'll have to find it. It's called Intertwined, and it's a table runner. Yeah. Oh, or you can even make placements. But I think it's just kind of a cute little. And Erica will put a picture in, so Kathy, you don't have to worry about trying to zoom, but it's called Intertwine. Mm -hmm. And we've got a few kits for that. Yeah. And I think you could, Halloween. I mean, you could do how, I think you could even keep this out in the fall. Yeah. It doesn't yeah. have witches or stuff, it no, has pumpkins. Yeah. 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 And so. then Shelly finished up her buffalo check quilt. We may have shown this one before. I think we but might that's have. That's on the table. Yeah. But just a fun 
Buffalo quill. Check. Yeah, it's really cute. For Halloween. Purple. Huh? And purple, it's purple. purple. Do you but, like purple but for like Halloween? like I said, I'm okay with purple for Halloween. Yeah. I don't necessarily want to paint my kitchen purple. <laughs> BJ brought in a magazine. She's like, yeah. Sandy, I brought this in because I just had to show you. <laughs> and that she just got in the mail. I don't know which magazine it was, the Better Homes and Gardens or something. And she's like, I just knew you'd want to see this. And it was a kitchen all painted in purple. And I was like, yeah, I'm not going to paint the kitchen purple. That was Ariel, my oldest daughter, but her favorite color growing up was purple. Yeah. She probably was more of a blue person now. Yeah. But my daughter's was purple too. Yeah. And she had a purple room at one point. Yeah. We painted her room. Ariel had purple and purple. Um, when we built our house, the guy that painted it said, your house is like an Easter egg because the one side of the house, Ariel's room was purple, Nicole's room was pink, Erica's room was green. <laughs> Ari Erica and, and, no, Ariel and Nicole had like a little Jack and Jill bathroom uh -huh. and that was yellow. So he's like, can you get any more Eastery? But, you know, what they like. Yeah. yeah. And I and I don't judge people if they like purple. Like purple. <laughs> You're yeah. fine to like purple. It's just not the thing. You can like well and okay. Okay, no emails over this. No emails, but I kind of feel that way about Christmas music. When October hits, I enjoy Christmas I music. I do too. I'm like you I Not like it if you want. Yeah, and that's what I feel like. If you if you're you know, into it, that's fine. No judgment yeah. here. But if I, I if I don't start listening to Christmas, if I start listening to Christmas music after Thanksgiving, I'm not, not ready enough. for it to be done. I know. Yeah. So and when Eric and I were driving home, there was snow. It was snowing mm -hmm. in Spanish Fort Canyon. So oh, yeah. she switched it to Christmas music there you go. while we were driving. So oh we yeah. I, in my old house we did have a neighbor that she put up her tree. On October 1st oh, right. I'm not ready to have a tree that long but if you yeah. like it go for go it. for it but yeah, yeah. I, I don't want my trip that long but I want Christmas music we used to be like you cannot put your tree up till Thanksgiving you know growing up that was the rule I'm like depending on what we have going right you know sometimes it's like well you've got to do it you know yeah. yeah I'm fine with it but Christmas yeah. music I do start before I start my Christmas decorations. I but, know, me too. Yeah, I'm all, and I think too, you know, working in the quilt store, our yeah. Christmas fabric comes early. Oh, it comes in May. And you have, to, but you have to kind of uh -huh. have time to get your projects done. Yeah. So yeah. I'm, I'm good with that. Well, and we have already sold out of two or th three yeah. that I know of Christmas quilts yeah. and kit, quilt kits we've had to take down. Yeah. And it's like, it's not even Halloween yet. Right. And they've already sold out. Yeah. So, um, but yeah. That's all right. I, well, and Erica made the comment because she's supposed to start a job on November 1st. And she said, when I get to my house in New Mexico, she's like, I'm going to put my Christmas tree up. Yeah. Just, it's going to make me happy. It will. Yeah, that will be a good. And I said, yeah. if that makes you happy, then you do then that. you do that. Whatever yep. you want to do. So my husband yeah. and I will drive out with her and we'll stay uh -huh. with her for a little while. But I'm like, yeah, that makes you happy. So if yeah. you're not, if you have to wait until after Thanksgiving, that's, that's good great. Thing. Yeah, that's great. But. I mean, not that I am not thankful. Right. You know? No. Like, I don't say we shouldn't be thankful, so. No. Don't. No, know. and well, and that's why I don't decorate with my Christmas stuff until after. Because I yeah. do. I have Halloween and I have Thanksgiving decorations. Yeah. And I don't know. Kathy, where, where do you fall on this side? I know where she falls. I usually put my tree up. Um, I try to November 1st. Oh, see? Because you don't get enough of it if you wait until December really? 1st. And, and, and I love Christmas. So and there is Christmas a lot music. of work that goes into... It's tons of work to put stuff up. Putting your Christmas decorations mm -hmm. up. Jason, I, I might have mentioned this before, but when Jason and I were first married, he started collecting those Department 56 yes. Christmas village, village houses for me. And it takes so much time to put to them those all up, up that... Yeah. If I wait till December 1st, I'm just frustrated because I feel like the next day yeah. you take them down. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. So that's where we're at. No, yeah, it's okay. And my parents are, take Christmas down the day after Christmas. Yeah. And I, I'm like, I don't, you know. We always just, said New Year's. By New Year's. We had to take One down. year I did. Sometimes it doesn't come down. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't get it done quite that soon, a couple of years ago. Then there was the one year that I left my Christmas wreath on the front door. Oh, Till yeah. spring. Yeah. 
And because you don't know, I don't think about it because I, I don't go through the front door. I know, I don't door. go through the front door yeah. and then a bird had a nest in it. And... Oh, well then it was perfect for spring. Well, but I, spring came and I went out in my front yard and was like, oh, I really should take that down, take it down, put it in my house, look on the ground. Oh. And there are some little blue eggs. Oh, I felt so bad. But so, that's what that sound was that kept hitting my front door. Yeah. Was the bird. Okay, so important safety tip. If you keep your Christmas wreath up until spring, please, please look check for, for the nest before you take it down. I felt terrible. Oh, yeah. yeah, I don't blame you. Anyway, but wherever you fall, that's uh -huh. good. So that's what good. should they say if uh, to enter your drawing? Oh, yes, for the drawing. Oh, tell us. If you're a before Thanksgiving or an after Thanksgiving <laughs> Christmas decorator. Yeah, when Let's do you see. like to listen to your music and when do yeah. you like to decorate? When do you like to start getting that Christmas spirit? Yeah. Before Thanksgiving or I would or love after. to know. I have a couple of a couple of friends that are adamant that you do nothing yeah. Christmas until after Thanksgiving. Yeah. And I'm just like, I don't what does it matter? What does it, it doesn't matter. Time. Whatever you want to do. If okay. that's your rule. Good. If that's what you like, that's fine too. But you know. Yeah. Anyway. So yeah. I do think it's odd. Occasionally I'll see a tree. Like in the summer I'll drive by some house or something, the Christmas tree's up and I'm like <laughs> I know. But I should not judge. Yeah. Well, I I did have a neighbor years and years ago at our where we used to live <laughs> and she just never got a Christmas tree down. She she had a really crappy year yeah. and they, it just didn't happen. So she just um kind of like would take the bulb out. She had the kind of lights where you oh, take yeah. the bulb out and then only, you know, then that color doesn't go on. So like at Valentine's, it just was red. <laughs> so she just kind yeah. of, yeah. She so just she, went with it. Yeah, and then at um, St. Patrick's Day, it was just oh, green. green. And, yeah. I'm there like, yeah, well, that's what you want to do. And she's like, and you know what? She says, it made me happy to see my tree. And she said, I needed it. I'm like, okay, yep. well, if that's what then makes that's you happy, what, yeah. then do what makes you happy. Yeah. Oh, good. No judgment here. Oh, Kathy, can you change the angle on the camera and let's show Chrissy Pumpkins oh. up here. Let's see if she can do that. We have to take a light. Can you put it on the table here? Does that show it? Yeah. That's so a Shelley really cute one. So finished binding that and we've got that hung up. That is Prissy Pumpkins. And, I like the colors in it. Uh huh. It's just fun. And it's the fabric collection from Poppy Cotton. Poppy Cotton. And then next to it, we have that the back quilt. Oh yeah, we've got the back quilt. And then down on the island, we have Spin Me Around, which is one that Wendy never made. So, so yeah, the bat and the pumpkin are kind of and. So we do, we still have we just still a have few Halloween. Halloween. Yeah, a few Halloween kits left available. You've tried really hard to, we've, years past October 6th, we've had nothing left. I know. And so you've so tried really hard we, well, to share. Well, and like Anna getting this one done, it was because, okay, we're selling out of Halloween. Let's hurry and get something else up. Yeah. I hate to have people come for witches and we don't have any Halloween. I agree. But we do still have plenty of Halloween. And so. we still have the ginormous, which was that pumpkin yeah. quilt kit. Yep. We still enormous have quilt a few yeah. of those. Enormous. Not enormous. ginormous. Yeah. Enormous. Yep. So so we do still have a few Halloween. Yeah. And there, I'm sure there's new cross stitch that's come in, but we'll show that next week. Yeah. Tune in so. next time. <laughs> Thank you for joining us for Table Talk. Remember to comment, are you a before? Thanksgiving or an after Thanksgiving and we will randomly pick a winner for our pattern. Yeah. Thanks so much.